Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Panini Mosaic Football. Six box, half case break number six. Uh, pick your team six actually sold out before five. Five hasn't even sold out yet. So first to fill, first to break as we, as we always do here and all card ship in this Mosaic Football. Big thanks to this group here for buying your team straight up. I appreciate it. There it is here on Tuesday the 18th. Break number six. It was Thomas with Last Bot Mojo with the Steelers. Good luck. So this is from a fresh case. Here it is, fresh case of Mosaic football in all its glory. Actually, I even marked it. Pick your team five and six. That's what that's what it's reserved for. are kind of all over the place. Let's fix that column there. All right, there we go. So we've got, let's, wait, let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this far right column right here, shave two here, put it on the left side, take the other two, put it on the right side. So that makes six boxes in each column right here. So we'll go one, two, three on the left side with the dice roll and four, five, six on the right side. We'll select that die right there. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do this side right here. And this side we will save for pick your team five. So all of those are marked five, and then I'm sure that will, that, will, that should happen. I think that filler is getting pretty close, so we should be able to do that at some point tonight. So let's actually just set these aside over here. All right, onwards. Two autographs per box, a lot of different parallels. You know, looking for storm chasers you know, mo glass mosaics and more. Mosaic has really grown in popularity over the years. It was just kind of a cool but fringe sort of product many years ago. And now I feel like people, people seem to classify this in that sort of prism select sort of tier, which is pretty good. Are there die cuts in here, Justin? That'd be cool to see. Gang, here we go. He's a little slippery here. Derrick Henry, 46 out of 49. How much of an impact is he going to make? What do you think? Brandon with the Titans. Kyler Murray. Um, you know, Got to figure out what to do with uh, what to do with him. I guess what kind of weapons? They need some extra weapons. 
Maybe get get some just maybe just, he just needs just an extra year of seasoning. But I'm sure we'll see him in the playoffs again soon. Adam, what's up? He'd like to see a Zach Wilson honeycomb. That'd be nice. Was it um was it basketball or or football where Jason pulled those that honeycomb hot box? I don't know if those honeycomb hot boxes are if that was a mistake or if that's like a a, a thing. It's Darius Leonard to 99 for the blue horseshoes. That'll be for George. And our first autograph is for Carolina, Chuba Hubbard. Rookie autograph for Pat and the Panthers. It was in football, Phonic saying. Yeah, I'd like to see another honeycomb hot box. Mac Jones will go to the Patriots. Matthew Shira. I feel like Vegas is still still has Mac Jones and Jamar Chase up there as your offensive rookie of the year favorites. And there's Cameron Bynum, Vikings. Patrick Davis, Skull. What do the Vikings need to do? Vikings need to put some, well, Vikings are going to have a new coach. New coach, new GM, I think, to maybe refresh the squad, see if they can, they can get into the playoffs, make some noise. Aaron Jones, we'll see him this weekend. Trevor Lawrence, NFL debut. He's gonna have a new coaching staff too. So hopefully that'll unlock his, uh, that'll unlock him. That'll be good for the hobby. Adam didn't see much of that break, but uh, you don't remember seeing any honeycomb hot boxes in any of the other cases. So I don't know, maybe that was a mistake. 49 out of 99, Patrick Sertain for my rivals, the Broncos, Nick T. Trey Lance. Wonder if we'll see a little bit of Trey Lance. Some Trey Lance packages in against the Packers. Niners Packers. Introductions, Trevor Lawrence insert. There's a Justin Fields. And another Justin Fields. Alright, that was box one. Next box. Justin thinks Jamar Chase should win. I think he I think he has a pretty good shot. When's the last time I think we've talked about this before. When's the last time a wide receiver has won offensive rookie of the year? These offensive player of the year awards seem to mostly go to quarterbacks, sometimes running backs, rarely wide receivers. But Jamar Chase, you know, could make a case for himself. Mac Jones has the W's. But those W's, are they because of Mac Jones? I don't know. So this might be, be a, the best chance in a, in a little while for the, uh, for the wide receiver to try to get that offensive rookie of the year. Box. 
There's out of 99, Zach Ertz. I guess is he your, Michael Parsons, is that your defensive rookie of the year? Still Eagles version of Zach Ertz going to Arturo. And behind Fletcher Cox is a redemption. And it's Trevor Lawrence. Nice. Rookie autographs mosaic. Trevor Lawrence for Scott Freeman and the Jags. Here you go, Scott. I don't know when they announce MVP. I don't know. There, there is no. I feel like is it Pro Bowl week where they do the awards? Awards week. Yeah, exactly, Jack. Mac didn't do very much in that that windy game against the Bills. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how how the uh, how the NFL writers decide all that. There's Tommy Tremble to ninety nine for the Panthers. Another Justin Fields for the Bears. Stephen Flat. Let's try to find some parallels of him too. Ah, Adam saying the day before the Super Bowl. Got a Justin Herbert center stage. It's like a different parallel, no? Is that it? I don't know. Let's leave that up just in case. Uh, that'll be for the Chargers. That'll be for Michael. There's NFL debut Zach Wilson. That's for Adam and his Jets. Saw a clip on Instagram of Aaron Rodgers on Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee congratulated. Oh, I, I mean, I think I think Pat McAfee's a little tongue in cheek. I think he's just assuming like that he's going to be. I think Aaron Rodgers is the favorite. I think there's just just assuming. Yeah, unless it has it been leaked out. There's a Derek Johnson autograph for the Chiefs. That'll be for Scott and Kansas City. Got both autos in the box, Scott. It's almost like a personal break. I think Jonathan Taylor, the Colts running back, probably had the best chance to win most valuable player, but I think that sort of the sort of the Colts failing to make the playoffs, and I think him not finishing the season strong, or as strong as he could have, I think probably hurts his chances. Here's 25 of 25, Jeremiah Owusu, Koromoa. White mosaic for the Browns, Mark Miller. box in the books. Here comes another one. wonder how much how much money you think Aaron Rodgers is getting from from uh, Pat McAfee and uh, and that company to get Aaron Rodgers to come on every week on the show probably a lot hey Aaron Rodgers come on the show we'll pay you this much 
say some quasi controversial things or whatever. Get us some more views and clicks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Tom Brady does uh, did used to do those. I don't know if he still does those Sunday night football or Monday night football radio hits. Two. And we've got Carlos Boogie Basham. Boogie Basham. Rookie autograph for Bernard and the Bills. Buffalo! Do they have a chance against the, uh, against the Chiefs? Nice Mac Jones NFL debut parallel for the Patriots, Matthew Sherrill. Yeah, not a bad gig, right, Justin? Your presumptive MVP, maybe? It's, it's Pat McAfee's at least saying that he is. Demarcus Lawrence, one out of 49. Cowboys have to figure out what they're going to do in the offseason. Got to, got to add some pieces, continuing to add pieces to that squad. It's like my Raiders are requesting interviews with Patriots linebackers coach, Jared Mayo for head coach vacancy, director of player personnel, Dave Ziegler for GM vacancy. If you're gonna go with a linebackers coach, I would rather just keep Rich Passaccia at that point. All right, there's Zach Wilson. As long as Jerry Jones is the owner, you don't think they'll win anytime soon, Justin saying? He hires puppets, not coaches. That's a little harsh on Mike McCarthy. He's got a Super Bowl under his belt. I wouldn't say he's a puppet. There's Jarrett Patterson for Washington. Although, maybe he initially goes in, maybe coaches go into it thinking, oh, I'm not going to be a puppet. But then you realize you don't have as much power as you think. There's Jarrett Patterson, Washington football team. That'll be for Ryan Heights. Got Quentin Nelson for the blue horseshoes, a little color match for George. It's a 99. Center stage, Matt Ryan. Next, we're halfway through this half case break. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, divisional round matchups. I've already fired some shots. If you go to the, if you click the schedule link, if you click the schedule link in the chat, and click the Joe's picks tabs, I've already fired on some picks, ladies and gentlemen. Last week. Picking sides for the wild card matchups, various unit sizes. I ended up down a quarter of a unit, minus a quarter of a unit. A unit being whatever size, whatever your usual betting amount is. 
Could be $5 for some people, could be $500 for other people, but whatever your unit size is, that makes it a little more relatable relative to whatever your unit size may be. But that being said, down 0.25 and up by 0.16 on my wildcard props, which I'm usually just doing touchdown bets, like to score any anytime touchdown plays. Betting much smaller unit sizes there. But my early plays, my probably maybe way too early plays, I'm going Tennessee, minus three and a half. I'm hoping that drops to minus three. I'll probably fire again at minus three if that happens. But I'll feel smart if it goes up to minus four. In which case, I may not fire again at that point. I'm on, these are Saturday games. San Francisco plus five and a half at Green Bay. Going San Francisco plus five and a half at Green Bay. Sunday games, Bucks, Tampa Bay minus three. And the uh, Buffalo at KC going Buffalo plus two and a half. So those are my way too early plays. Anyone else have any way too early plays? And there's Amir Smith Marset, rookie autograph for the Vikings. Justin saying Dan Quinn has interviews for head coaching jobs again. So curious to see. So if he leaves, curious to see the Cowboys defense next season. Yeah. Me too. Oliver has Tennessee, San Francisco, Rams, Buffalo. As his way too early picks. Jack likes my uh, AFC picks, but does not like my NFC picks. And Adam's going to go oppo my Sunday picks. Not sure on Saturday yet. We'll see. We'll have to we'll have to monitor uh, we'll have to monitor line movements as the week goes on. Yeah, I went I went three for three last week. Hayden, what's up? What's the best card I've ever pulled? Uh, we, we pulled a lot of great cards over the years. If you go to our Instagram at Jaspie's Rakes, you'll be able to see some of our best recent pulls. All right, eight out of 10, Joe Montana gold. That'll be for Alex Rosen, who got the Niners straight up. Stephen Flat got a little analytics in him. He's saying he, he hadn't crunched the numbers yet, but that Rams and under did indeed hit. He mentioned this last night. I remember this. And came out right at your predicted 45. Justin Clement saying that I should just ask Pat Phelps what his picks are and just fade them and I'll win every bet. Wow, shots fired. I'm assuming they're friends and they're shot fired there. This is a Joe Mixon to 10, overdrive gold. Three out of 10, nice. That's for Cincinnati, there, that's uh, for Bradley. And we've got John Brown. Uh, Raiders edition of John Brown. That goes to uh, Scott Freeman. Didn't quite work out. Blue 
Chips, Jamar Chase could be could be a uh, rookie of the year, offensive rookie of the year. And we've got a Mark Brunel, 57 out of 99 blue for the Jags. That'll be for Scott. All right, two more boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. So I like Tennessee. I think, you know, a lot of times with the, with the teams that you haven't seen, that's what happens sometimes. You forget about, you know, what they did recently. You, we saw what Cincinnati did recently. I think a lot of people are on Cincinnati. But people have forgotten just after a week off how good Tennessee can be, why they're the number one seed. Got a young quarterback, Joe Burrow, on the road. Derrick Henry is back, even if he's more of a decoy. That'll still, that could still balance out the Tennessee offense. Tennessee's at home, which I think is a big help for them. I think they'll, I think they'll edge it out. San Francisco, plus five and a half at Green Bay. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> um... I guess I'm just, I guess I'm hoping that Joey Bosa is going to be healthy. They've got a good running game. Um, San Francisco's got a great running game. Green Bay maybe a little, a little soft on run defense, so, so the Niners could keep it close. There's Frank Darby rookie autograph, right? Control the control the tempo a little bit with the running game. They've got an above-average defense. They should be able to kind of maybe their hope is, you know, slow down Aaron Rodgers. I guess that, 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 was, that was sort of my thinking. Right, yeah. See, the trouble is Garoppolo could just... You know, which Garoppolo are you going to get? I think Trayvon Morig made an all-rookie team. My Raiders. There's Trevor Lawrence for the Jags. Scott. Adam likes which game? Because it's we both lost to the Jets Bowl? Did, this, did Cincinnati and Tennessee really both lose to the Jets? Well, the Jets should be in the playoffs. By that logic. There's 33 out of 49, Amon Ross St. Brown. Bengals, Titans, wow, they, I guess they did. I think, I think you're right. Yeah. Jack B thinks winner of the Bills Chiefs game that's your that's your Super Bowl winner right there. And there it is for the Blue Horseshoes. Uh, Killen Granson, rookie autograph for George and the Colts.
Steve Young, Drew Locke, Jamar Chase, Introduction Silver. How about Debo Samuel being a running back now? 50, 76 out of 99. I feel like that's that's a that's a new wrinkle in that Niners offense that they kind of uncovered. That's gonna work for them. You know, if you if you're able to, I don't know if the Niners are gonna win this game, but if if they're able to to maybe control the game a little bit with the, with their running. They might be able to keep it close and cover. If you if you keep a uh, if you keep a uh, I don't know you have to have Garoppolo throw maybe twenty or twenty five times a game, twenty five or twenty five times that game. If he starts throwing 30, 35, 40 times that game, then, then the Niners are in trouble. Oliver, you heard a Bo Jackson comparison for Debo? I mean, I mean, Bo Jackson may be just one of the best pure athletes of all, of all time. I don't know if anyone's going to confuse... Debo Samuel with Bo Jackson. I think Bo must have it. Bo must have like 20, 30 pounds on that guy, on Debo, and probably runs faster than Debo Samuel. Who's making that comparison, Oliver? Some kid on Twitter? Some rando on Twitter, or is this an actual like talking head on a on a television network? That's a Allen Robinson stained glass. I think these stained glasses are... First of all, they look really sharp. I think they look... This is, a, this is one, of the, one of the better mosaic stained glass designs that I've seen. And they're a lot more short printed than we saw in, like, say, basketball. At least this year's basketball. So it's pretty nice. Allen Robinson Bears. That'll be for Stephen Flat. There's Marshall Falk, another gold to 10. Saw a few golds in this uh, in this case. And we've got Ben Mason, Ravens. That'll be for Aaron Billingsley and the Ravens. And that's uh, Marshall Falk for Nick T and the Rams. Nice low number on then. And we got a Trey Lance. NFL debut, Mosaic Refractor, Mosaic Parallel. Yeah, Justin's saying that sounds like a Shannon Sharp or a Skip Bayless take or something like that. Debo, Bo Jackson. Or some or some teenage blogger on like fan sided, you know, Niners Nation dot fan sided dot com. Here's Jarvis Landry, twenty out of forty nine. Oh, 
Elijah Mitchell, what a... I mean, he was a late-round pick. He's really emerged. Right, maybe an Onion article. And we got Kyle Trask. Rookie autograph for the Buccaneers, James, with Tampa Bay. Did I get in the picture? Damn. Nick's taking a picture of a mixer. I thought I was going to get into the, the product shot. Got a Joe Burrow blue. Nice. 66 out of 99. Hey, if, if Joe Burrow keeps it going, that's hashtag good for the hobby. Bradley with the Bengals. And that, my friends, is that. Nice. Thanks for watching. Thanks for raking with us. And now let's see who's going to get into the wax party. So let's flip back to the uh, the list. And again, as you know by now, top two in any wax party break, top two are the winners. Chance to win some wax. The, whole, the full prize list is on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. It's a great prize list. Let's roll it. Randomize names. Six and a four. Ten times. Top two after ten. Good luck. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten. Now, from three on down, it's going to be sad times, but listen, there are a lot more opportunities. We're only halfway through this promo, so there's a lot more opportunities. Brandon, very close, no cigar, but a lot, lot of more opportunities, Brandon, and everybody else to try to win some spots in that uh, in that in our latest promo. All right. Happy times for George and Matthew. Congrats to the both of you. After 10 times you're in the top 2 and uh, you're guaranteed some wax. So we'll see uh, we'll see what you end up getting once we fill up all these breaks. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.